Hello and welcome to Switched On. My name's Paul and with Istanbul releasing this week on the eShop, I've decided to put together a top 5 list of the best board games on the Nintendo Switch. In addition to the list I'm about to run through, there is currently Hasbro Game Night, which features classics such as Monopoly, Risk and Trivial Pursuit. Of those, I've played a demo of Monopoly and didn't feel like it really deserved a place on this list, but I have heard good things about Risk and Trivial Pursuit, so I may pick this one up at some point down the line. As always, in my personal top list videos, I only try to include games I've actually played myself, so I can give you the fairest opinion. Look out for the switched on verified mark displayed in the top corner to know it's a game that I've actually put some time into personally. So with all that out of the way, let's crack on and run through the top 5 board games on the Nintendo Switch. So at number 5 I've gone for medieval toll lane phenomenon Carcassonne. The original board game released in 2000 and its popularity with board game fans has grown and grown since then and it has a large number of add-on expansions for the game as well. Many digital versions have been released over the years for PC, Xbox 360, mobile devices and in 2018 a Switch port was made by Asmodee Digital who also are bringing four other modern board games to the Switch this year. Now this version on the Switch costs £17.99 or $19.99 and the game itself revolves around picking up a tile and laying it onto the playing area as long as it's legal to do so within the rules of the game. Players use their tiles to try and complete castles, roads, fields and towns by placing their little coloured tokens on called meeples from their limited selection to claim the tile. In most instances this token stays on the tile until the scoring is done at the end of the game so you have to choose wisely which areas you claim. It's a fun, simple, family friendly game and whilst the Switch port isn't terrible, it does have some unnecessary annoyances which stopped it from becoming an instant purchase in my eyes. Check out the link in the description below as I have a full review of this game on my channel. Now number 4 is a game nearly as old as time itself and that is chess and specifically the Switch game Chess Ultra, which is developed and published by Ripstone Games and retails at $9.99 or $12.49 in the US. Now chess is quite a hard game to get wrong. Chess computers have been around in some form for longer than most modern computing devices and have spawned countless versions of the game digitally on virtually every video game system ever released. I highly doubt there's ever been a chess game though which has been presented so well as this version can look stunning at times as you play your games out in various beautiful environments from modern apartments to cosy wood cabins. The fully rendered 3D board has great lighting and textures and basically this is as close to sitting at a real chess board as you're going to get. If you're new to the game then a number of detailed tutorials will get you right up to speed and once you have the game down you can take on various AI with skill levels up to Grand Master or take your game online to play in asynchronous games in either single matches or structured tournaments. Now chess may not be for everyone, but if you were curious and want to learn the game, you're not going to get much better than picking up a copy of Chess Ultra for the Switch. Ok, I've debated the order of this top 3 for some time. All 5 of these games on the list are really good examples of ball games on the Switch but the top 3 specifically will change around depending on your circumstances and what you want from a board game. So what I'm going to say is that I highly recommend getting these next 3 games and I will outline who they're best suited for without ordering them per se. You still with me? Good. Right, so up first, this game is best suited if you like the idea of board games but perhaps prefer strategy games more and also want a little bit of flair. In that instance, my top pick is Armello. Now Armello isn't based off of a real life board game, it is in fact a digital game originally created by League of Geeks and is £14.99 or $19.99 on the eShop. In this game you take charge of a woodland animal and your goal is to replace the dying king of the land and take your place as the ruler of the kingdom of Armello. You move around a randomised hexagonal board exploring the tiles and taking on small random quests to build up enough strength to dispose not only of the opponents on the board, who also have their eyes on the throne, but also the king himself in a large final showdown. 
There is the option to take on challenging AI or play online and this game also features some really nice unlock systems which keeps you wanting to come back to play more. Our Mello is beautifully presented from the huge characters that roam around the board to the excellent animations, sound effects and well thought out control schemes. This very much feels like a video game first and a board game second, but make no mistake this is definitely a board game and deserves its place on the list. Check out the link in the description below for a full review of this game as well, but it is truly brilliant. Ok next up, this is the choice for the pure board gamer. Perhaps you enjoy having friends over and pulling out one of your large box modern games off the shelf or attending the monthly local board game club. My top pick for someone who really loves traditional board gaming is the quite superb Istanbul. Now obviously I reviewed Istanbul this week and gave it an excellent score so check out the description below for a link to that if you'd like to watch the full review. And if you haven't seen that review I'll give you a quick overview of the game. Now the goal in Istanbul is to collect 5 rubies before the other players and you achieve this by moving your people around the market stalls, buying and selling goods and completing little tasks which will eventually net you those precious rubies. Presentation here is quite superb with a brilliant representation of the look of the full board game and also plenty of modern video game touches like the great soundtrack which gives the game a lovely atmosphere. Like most of the games in this list, you can try your luck online with both synchronous and asynchronous options available to suit. There's a wealth of in-game achievements and a really excellent tutorial section to get you up and running. My only sticking point from the review was the high price point compared to the game on the other platforms it's on. If you can stomach that price, or my advice is to pick it up ASAP as it's got a small discount until Friday the 5th of April, then I would highly recommend this game as it's one of the best digital conversions of a board game I've ever played. Ok, so my final choice is for those players who want a more casual experience and something they can possibly play with non-gamers or young family members and that of course is Mario Party. Now with its basic gameplay of roll a dice and move that number of squares it's not much more than a fancy snakes and ladders really. There are a small selection of balls to play on though and each has its own theme and various points of interaction on as you race around trying to collect more stars than the other characters from the Mario Brothers universe. Once every player, either an AI or up to three other human players locally, has moved, a random mini game will be played out. There are 100 possible mini games and these really help break up the board game sections and are a lot of fun, especially for the younger players or if you have some pals around on the sofa. Unfortunately you cannot play the main board game online though a separate online section exists allowing you to play a selection of the mini games against other Nintendo online players. Now, this really does feel like a missed opportunity but with the main board games taking a minimum of an hour to play I can perhaps see why they decided not to add it. I've played Mario Party on the Switch with my 5 year old daughter so many times and we always have a great time and it's just nice to be able to share some gaming time with her. I'd say 5 years old is probably the youngest a child should be to play through this game unaided though as some of the mini games can be a little bit tricky. Mario Party has all the usual Nintendo polish with great looking graphics and sound but for solo players or hardcore board gamers there won't be much here to keep you playing once the novelty is over. So there we go, that's my top 5 board games on the Nintendo Switch, hope you enjoyed that and as I say there are more board games coming so may revise this list in sort of 6 to 12 months but these are the ones that I would definitely recommend looking at for now. Thanks once again for watching and please subscribe if you like this video and drop me a comment below let me know your favourite board game either a video game version or perhaps you like playing the cardboard versions or tabletop RPGs let me know below and let's have a chat. But with that said we'll bring this video to a close thanks again for watching and I will catch you on the next one. See you later bye.